It was Christmas. I was five years old, and there was a box under the tree, all wrapped pretty, from my grandparents, and it said, don't shake. Once I opened that present, I just played with Lego the rest of the morning. And this would be a pattern that would repeat itself every Christmas. Every and then Christmas. it would be birthday parties. I had this Lego city growing up, and uh, then I went away to college. And you forgot about it? No. I'd sculpted out of all different things over my life, wood and clay and wire. Why not sculpt out of this toy I'd always had? Any medium can become art in this world. And uh, what I've done is try to take Lego into a place it's never been before, and that's into the fine art world. And so I, I've done a lot of fine art sculptures that are in museums. I use a lot of human forms in my art, and uh, I try to express my emotions through those sculptures. Those can take three to four weeks to complete. Um, it's, it can be a process. I've done pieces where, uh, uh, you know, large human forms are tearing themselves apart, and Lego bricks are spilling out, or, or a, a Lego figure is trying to escape from a large box and he's ripping the box apart and Lego bricks are breaking apart. People who are there for the art, but you also see a lot of kids who are there for the Lego. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the good things about my exhibit is that it'll draw in kids that may not normally ever want to go to a fine art museum on a Saturday afternoon, but they're coming and they're, they're amazed by what they see because they're seeing this toy that they've played with themselves. How are you able to take blocks and make a face so that you can tell who it is? I, I see the world in little squares. This was my passion, you know? I was gonna be an artist, and I was gonna use Lego as my medium. In some ways, you just really haven't grown up. Thanks, Steve.